Kepler's first law is about the orbits of the various planets of the solar system. He said that planets in the solar system move on elliptical paths. What is an elliptical path? Your textbook gives you the method to draw this ellipse. Ellipse has two centers and the sum of distances of the object from both these centers has to be constant. When this happens, that object rotates in an elliptical path. Let us say that ellipse is a conic section of a cone. Here, two cones have been drawn and there is a plane intersecting both the cones. If the plane intersects the cone parallel to the base of the cone, then the intersecting shape looks like a circle. So the intersection here is circular in shape. On the other hand, if the plane intersects making some angle, then the section will be parabolic. When you watch a cricket match, when the player from a far end throws the ball towards the wicketkeeper, the ball moves on a path which is parabolic. That means its distance from the ground is initially almost zero. Then it goes on increasing and then decreasing. And when it reaches the wicketkeeper, it again becomes zero. In the third type, if the plane intersects the cone at a specific angle, then instead of circle or parabola, an ellipse is formed. So, first section is circle, second is parabola, third is an ellipse, the fourth type is hyperbola. Kepler said that planets move in elliptical orbits around the sun and some comets also have an elliptical orbit. So they are visible repeatedly after every few years. One example of this is the Halley's Comet, which appears after every 76 years. The orbit of Halley's Comet is also elliptical. Some comets can be seen only once and there is no possibility of them appearing ever again. They enter the solar system, circumnavigate the sun and go back and they never come back. Their orbit is parabolic. Kepler in his first law says that orbits of the planets are elliptical. The sun is at one of the centers.